Hello, hello, everybody here? Uh. <laughs> hello, sorry guys, we're so late. Oh, only 160 people, of course, no warning, uh, just a few minutes late. And you know, well, there's this guy who's upset because we were so late and Hello, Ben. Hello, Patrice. Hello, Gabriele. <laughs> Let him lie. Let him live. <laughs> so, yes, you know, uh... <laughs> oh, you have a picture with that guy. <laughs> really? Leo, freaking amazing update. Thank you, Mark. Well, you know, it was a, the most complicated one that we had. And you know why now? We wanted to give you a trailer. So how did you like it? Did you like the trailer? The finally, yes. Hello, Antoine. Hello, Gabriele. Hello, Salvatore. Hello, Toby. Hello, Mark. Nice trailer. A good trailer. Hello, Cyril. Hello, Benjamin. Hello, Lockhart. Hello, Tim. Nice tribute to Kong. Absolutely, yes. Hello, Dubla. Hello, uh, Alain, Rob. Oh, numbers are raising. And I think uh, we are going to probably uh, reach a hundred, uh, 200, 200 viewers. So it, it's definitely raising. We'll have time because we'll talk and we'll see. Uh, much love for the update. Bonsoir, Adrien. Uh, do you have the red terror? Yes, I do. I do have it. I do have it. Super trailer. Tonight, you're going to see everything you want. Uh, I, again, I apologize for being that late. Uh, it was a complicated uh, trailer because we have we have so many art, so many minis, uh, so many last things that uh, arrived. You know, we wanted to show you some painted minis, for instance. So, for instance, the Gulka painted mini arrived today. Uh, the trailer, you know, the trailer, we worked really hard. After the first trailer that you saw, we said, oh, how about we give them a trailer for the last big expansion? And so we worked literally during the Kickstarter to provide to give you this trailer just on time. <laughs> yes, and watch football and everything, of course. <laughs> My uncle lives in a complicated trailer. Oh, <laughs> no, not that kind of trailer. <laughs> OK, we are above 200. Uh, it's an amazing story. So many possibilities for the story to go in different way, uh, ways. Absolutely. Amazing add-on and trailer, uh, Alexander. Thank you. Spoiler time. Well, not spoiler time. We're only two hundred, and you know when I when I mention every time I say the word spoiler, uh, there's something happening. Okay, no spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> Salut, uh, not black. <laughs> Hello, this campaign is killing me. So much excellent material. Thank you, Stefan. Well, we can definitely see right now. Uh, that more and more people are getting excited by this campaign and by the things we've shown. So yes, we, we're late tonight, apologies, my apologies again, but it was worth it. I mean, come on, <clears throat> this is the biggest, uh, the biggest campaign that we have. Uh, it's a five act story. So that means five, 50 chapters, 50 chapters. This is literally gonna last about 20 hours, maybe 25 hours to play everything, you know, just for the first time. So this is literally going to be the most epic story you will have uh, for, for this game. As on t'a reconnu pas la peine de t'écraser et de te déguiser. Oh, you, you believe this is as? No, it's not as. This is Solomon King. <laughs> no, it's not as. <laughs> Oh, and you know what? I had I have a visit also. You know, to, today it's a special life, and not only do I have, do I have Solomon Kane with me, but I even have some guests coming from Sweden, and some of you know them. Well, look at who's here. You Hello, remember, guys? <laughs> of course, I have to join you for this Kickstarter as well. <laughs> Can't miss out. It's been too much fun the past times. Welcome. <laughs> Sweden, yes, yes absolutely. Of remember. Vikings. Yeah, the, the thunder uh, thunder voice. Yes, you remember that. Yes, of course. He's here, yes. the Viking face. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> so he's here and he didn't come alone this time. 
we 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 have a Viking and we have a Valkyrie. So <laughs> look at Julia. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> First too. <laughs> so yes, Julia is here. Yeah. Hello. Hello, everybody. Finally, some girls. You know, Woo! we don't see girls a lot. So hi, Sweden. <laughs> so well, Hegelen, the voice of Thor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Could you say a few words in in Swedish, like? Björk. Yeah. Um. <laughs> uh, Chat, you have some Swedish word, words for me. Hmm, <laughs> Solomon Kane. That can't be said in Swedish. Smörgåsbord. <laughs> Do you know that smörgåsbord? That's the Swedish word. It's smörgåsbord. Hmm. <laughs> Skål. Självklart, självklart. Uh, definitely not Swedish. <laughs> Usksedur, chicken, chicken soup, yeah. Omledor, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just a random guy. Well, actually, I'm uh, something of a celebrity. <laughs> I'm an ambassador. Yes. Well, you know, you know, guys, we have an ambassador program, and Carl is our first ambassador in Sweden. That means he gets to make demos, show our games, and just spread the word, uh, the nice words, and no, cool. well, course, yeah, and he received some cool things also. <laughs> Hello, fellow ambassador. Mark is an ambassador from, Hi, Mark. from uh, the UK. Oh, yes. I promise you guys, I received tons of spoilers. Mm. And yeah, Sweden, Sweden is Sweden is still in, yes, in football. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently, I was, uh, was mid-air during the last game, but apparently it went uh, well. Hey, who uh, are you? Odan? Dansk? <laughs> not Danish. Definitely not Danish. No, no, no. No, no, no. I like to consider myself the Warden of the North. Because, you know, I'm the northernmost ambassador. Mm. <laughs> and trust me, guys, uh, I said it the last campaign as well, but I, I mean, coming here and seeing all the uh, minis in uh, live. It's just mind blowing, especially the painting by Sab. I mean, the details in the miniature really pop when you give them a bit of, a bit of paint. It's, um, and when you receive these minis, when you have them in your hand, you will realize all the details because, of course, seeing pictures or us showing it on camera, it's not quite the same as having them uh, in your hand. No. Uh, <laughs> you should use this guy for recording. Yes, he's got this powerful <laughs> and deep and strong voice, definitely. Oh, okay, well, you've been waiting for it. We are 245, uh, so it's time for you, well, the French people, because yesterday I had a live in French. We were a lot because we had time to announce it a little earlier than this time, you know, like you had a five minute warning, but uh, they were the first one to see the Red Horror, so now it's time for all of you guys to see it in all its glory. And this, let's hope that it will focus. Or uh, if we're too on camera, maybe, you know, the camera will first focus on faces. So if you, if you, yeah, you see? Yeah, now. Mustn't see my face. Yes. Yes. So many details. Yes, it's really, really, really impressive. Do you want to see it next to Solomon? Yeah. Because you know. Yeah. It's huge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this will be fun to paint. Yes, Dark Souls like, yes, in a way. Mm. That is ugly, yes. It is ugly. It's, uh, it's <laughs> beautifully ugly. <laughs> beautifully ugly. All right. Huge. All right. So,
more, more Nurgle than official Nur Nurgle stuff. Yes, can't wait to paint it. Yes, it looks heavy. Yeah, it's very, yeah, it's very, very, yeah, <laughs> not to sprain my my wrist. <laughs> it's very heavy and it's it's really, really, really gorgeous. So detailed. What is the next stretch goal? Oh well, it's the continuation of the of the story. Um, let me check that. Let me check that. Mm -hmm. Ah. Yeah. Some doubt on the shopkeeper on the post. Well, you will you you wait until you play the story. You will see. Uh, uh, okay. Well, there are too many too many messages that I get. All right. So next stretch goal. Uh, can you tell me what we unlocked? Uh, what is the total at the at the moment? Did we did we go above eight hundred and sixty? Right. 860, okay, 863, so 860 is unlocked. So the next one will be the two new double-sided tiles plus one wolf, another wolf. So this will be the fifth wolf in this story. Uh, yes, and we are, I can tell you, we are getting close to finishing this story. So if things go keep going well, uh, we will unlock it very, very soon. <laughs> and the last one, trust me, will yes, will make you something. It'll it'll be something. The the last one is really, really, really impressive. <laughs> Isn't it six wolves then? Uh, possibly yes. If if the last one comes with another wolf, that will be six. Yes, it will be the sixth. Uh, for the for the last for the last uh, the last stretch goal of this story, uh, le, the the beast of Bordeaux is that is that the name of the story? Yes, the Alpha Wolf. Yes, it will be a big one. <laughs> so uh, so you you saw the trailer. Uh, what can I tell you about this uh, this new expansion? Well, yeah, five wolves pack plus huge wolf. No, I think. Maybe, well, I'm not spoiling. So we, yeah, I'm not spoiling. We will see. No, I'm not spoiling. No spoiling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know uh, if it's hot uh, at your place, but God, is it hot today in, in France? I'm all sweaty. Look at, look at that. It's, uh, oh. Mm. Yes. Oh, it's hot in Sweden too. Oh, yes, we have Leif Stenson. Leif Stenson. <laughs> is it real tea? Yes, it is. <laughs> you really love the trailer. Thank you, guys. Hotter in Texas. Oh, yes, I can imagine in Texas it's made me really, really, and hot in, in the ne Netherlands also. The voice of the Plus one for the new add-on pledge increased. Very cool, guys. Yes, if you if you like uh, if you like this uh, this add-on, I know a lot of you guys have gone uh, through well the all-in. A lot of them have updated their pledge to the all-in, but some of you haven't. And those who want to just add some expansions, just have in mind that you can you can. You don't have to, you, you, you will have time to buy them also separately during the pledge manager, right? Uh, you don't have to do everything right now. You can also do it uh, during the pledge manager. So I apologize. I'm a bit tired today because, you know, it's been 24 hours and it's my third live uh, today. Uh, those of you who followed um, this uh, know that uh, today I was live in a, uh, in a Twitch uh, live channel uh, called Le Stream. So Le Stream is a very popular stream in French, like with tons and plenty and plenty of live viewers, uh, thousands of them, and they have a, a, a show 
uh, on board games. So we we, we, we were invited and we, we, we showed them uh, Solomon Kane and they absolutely loved it. It was really, really cool. Uh, so it was, it was done live. It was outside of Paris. So I had to go there. Then I had to, co to come back. Then we had to rush to prepare the, uh, uh, the add-on. And, you know, we, we had technical problems with the, uh, uh, with the trailer. We wanted the final shot to be included in the trailer. And then we had to upload it on YouTube. And, it took forever, and uh, finally we, we got it here. But you know it's it's late. <laughs> oh, Patrice is here. Yes, Patrice is here. Patrice Quine, you know uh, our expert, our Howard Howard expert. You have the Lumini here. Yes, it's 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 good. You're right. It's it's time to for, for me to show you uh, the minis from this expansion, and I can see that we are going to reach the magical number. What is the magical number of viewers? Tell me. Can somebody tell me? 300. Absolutely. Mark. Oh, yeah. Everybody know, knows that. Everybody knows that. <laughs> you have the wolf miniature? Mm, no, I don't have the wolf miniature. I have plenty of miniatures from this expansion to show you. And I think, yes, Leon, he's 300 Spartans, of course. Uh, <laughs> or Puritans, yes. This time it's the 300 Puritans. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, okay, let's, have we reached 300? No, not yet, 298, come on, two more viewers, two more viewers and I start showing you uh, the, uh, <laughs> the, <laughs> yes, watch out, this, this guy is, he's not funny, you know, he's, he's very strict, you know, he's a Puritan and, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see you too, guys. <laughs> do I have Sangha? Yes, I do have Sangha, and he's very impressive. All right. Yes, so the French were above 600. We even reached 700, but, you know, we, we advertised it. Well, we, we launched the countdown 24 hours ahead of time. So people had time to, to see that it was coming. Uh, we, we advertised it on Facebook and so on, so people were there. And tonight, we were supposed to do the live at 8, so a lot of people probably came, saw that there was no live, no update, so they said, oh, well, let's watch, let's watch the football, let's watch football. <laughs> and when we finally put it, because it was late, I said, okay, well, let's five minutes and I'll be there. Okay, over 300, you're right, it's time. Let's show Songa. Let's see Songa. So it's one of the mini that we have here. Yes. I think the uh, the shield is really cool. Yes. So you remember who Songa is. Well, let me tell you a bit about the story and what we did with this story. Okay. You mustn't see my face otherwise. <laughs> or we have a fan, maybe, if you want to put it, or, or open the, the, the door. Is it noisy? Yeah. yeah. All right. Yes. Okay, so this is Sangha. Let me, so let me tell you a bit of, about the story, and then I will start showing you the minis as, as we speak. Maybe that could be an idea. And don't forget, if you have questions and answers, just uh, post them here, okay? Yeah, I can see uh, I can see two questions so far. All right. Yes, you were expecting at least two acts in Africa. Oh, yes. Nice to get surprised. Yes, it's the very final act. So in this story, you will all wait until. Let me tell you about the story. The story in the in the in the books is only I would say two acts. It starts in France, and you can see that in the trailer, you know, in our trailer, you see this uh, little girl being killed by Lulu, uh, this awful uh, character. Uh, it's kind of a manhunt. Yeah, the, the, yeah, the, the campaign is a man, manhunt, but so you see this poor girl being killed by Lulu, and Solomon Kane 
Well, you know, this is Red Shadows is the very first story that uh, Robert E. Howard wrote. And it's the very first uh, time that Solomon King appears. And he's very mysterious in this story. You don't know, you have no date, you don't know, you vaguely know where it, it takes place. Uh, and as, uh, as Patrice explained, uh, if you didn't know everything, well, because the, if you hadn't read the other stories, you wouldn't be able to, to know exactly uh, where this takes place, when it takes place, and it's a bit like a fairy tale, you know, uh, Lulu, you know, like wolves from the fairy tales, that's the way she's named, and uh, the little girl uh, being murdered, and uh, and then it ends in Africa, you don't see, you don't know what happened but in, in between, it's a very strange story, but very uh, representative of what Solomon King is. So, it's uh, in in the in the books. It only starts in France and it finishes in Africa. But we know that uh, Solomon Kane has hunted uh, Lulu uh, on many different places in 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 Europe, and that uh, it took him years before he could find where he was, and that was Africa, because uh, eventually uh, Lulu escapes and finds shelter in Africa with Songa, the, the mini that I just showed shown you, that I've uh, just showed you. Uh, this is the the African king um, from from yes from where he ended up going. Uh, so th this guy and him make a, a deal, you know, and when Solomon King hunts him down he he's captured by uh, by the tribesmen, and this is where he meets uh, no longer. So, Lulu looks how I pictured him in the trailer. Okay, very good. Does the Red Shadows use other minis outside of the expansion? It does, absolutely, it does. Uh, uh, it does. What we do with this expansion, we use a lot of the minis from the core box uh, for different chapters. So. What you will live in this adventure, you will leave everything. You will see, you will ha you will you will go through all of the uh, different chapters that were not uh, written by Howard. You will see. You will be able to leave them uh, in a super long campaign. Uh, so it starts, as I said, by this little girl being murdered. The the, the thing you can see in the trailer, and uh, Solomon Kane is. He arrives because he's like this guy, you don't know where he comes from. He arrives, he sees her, he's super angry, you know, he really wants to, he said, the, the first thing he says, men shall die for this. So this is uh, a curse and actually this is what happened. Uh, so what is he going to do? Well, he will try and, and find Lulu and uh, Lulu's henchmen. So some of these henchmen are in the box, uh, and we added <clears throat> a new one. I think I have him. I think I have him somewhere. Where is he? It's La Costa. Uh, do I have his mini? I don't have his mini. Oh yeah, there he is. Uh, he's not primed yet, but <clears throat> let me show him. Yes, this is one of Lulu's uh, henchmen. You can see that they are very. There's a lot of movement in uh, uh, in in the minis that we have. So some other of his henchmen are of these guys, you know, like this one. So these guys are with uh, Lulu, and. Uh, yeah. Amazing mustache. <laughs> yes. Uh, so these guys, yeah, they're in the core box and they will be used uh, in this story. <clears throat> so what happens is he tracks them, and at the very beginning of, of the story, he he ends up killing them, uh, like he 
uh, I think uh, they are trapped in a cave and uh, there is some explosives and he, he blows everything, but Lulu escapes. And in the book, then you, you, you have some uh, uh, ellipses, you don't know what happens uh, to, to Lulu, you know, just know that he escapes and, that, and then uh, Solomon Kane has to track him down. Uh, so, these are the stories you will see and you will be able to live them. Uh, so it will be a man, uh, man track, um, man hunt, you know, uh, in different countries. And uh, it will be very epic. Uh, and every time you end a chapter, depending on how well you perform, you will have some, when you reach to the, the, the other chapter, the other act, uh, you will have some bonuses or not, depending on how well you performed. Uh, so this is uh, a story that happens from in, in different uh, in different countries. Sometimes it it, it goes to Italy. Uh, sometimes you are in the port. Sometimes you have to investigate in a tavern. You are trying to find where Lulu is, and every time he escapes. And of course. Uh, what you all uh, are waiting for is the conclusion of all this. The conclusion is that it ends up in Africa. And in Africa, well, uh, Solomon King will be captured by tribesmen. Let me show the painted tribesmen again. So they, they are in the expansion. Okay. Oh yeah, you see. How long did, does it take set to paint each? I'd say one or two days for each, right? Bonsoir Jean Edouard. <laughs> okay, another one. Yes. You see, uh, you have three different poses. Yeah, it's a super cool, uh, epic level deep te technique. <laughs> One or two weeks and I wouldn't be half as good. Yes, he's... It's really, 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 really good. Okay, another one. <laughs> yes, people are, are wondering why I'm hiding my face. It's because the camera will just uh, focus on my face if, if it sees uh, my face. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not scared of the mini, don't worry. <laughs> yes. Uh, then you saw Sangha, you saw the, the tribesmen, and what happens is that he's captured. Uh, he's captured. Well, you could see that in the trailer. You know, he's captured, and he ends up in a in a prison in a in a hut uh, with another prisoner who happens to be Canaver, an old, a mysterious guy called No Longer. And you've seen No Longer, but let me show his his many again. Yeah, we love him. He's, yeah. Yeah. So this guy, this old man who's supposed to be sacrificed with uh, uh, Solomon King, will actually help him. He will help him escape uh, thanks to his powers. He can, for instance, Maybe you didn't quite get it in the trailer, but let me see. You you can see in the trailer that we we, we, we gave you for this update, you can see that 
no longer focuses on a dead body, and then he can take possession of this dead body, and, and, the, and the people around are completely scared as he's, he does this, and this allows uh, Solomon Cain to escape, right? Uh, and so when he escapes, who will chase uh, Solomon Cain? It will be one of uh, Songa's best warrior. It's a guy who's so muscular, so huge, with so big arms, and so that he's almost not a human. He he, he almost looks like an animal, you know. And he's chasing uh, he's chasing uh, the gorilla because he's a gorilla hunter. So he has killed many gorillas. And this guy, uh, this name is what is his name? Golka. Yes, Golka, the gorilla hunter. Uh, Yes, Golka and Nolonga are rivals for the king's favor in the story. But yes, but uh, Nolonga uh, lost, obviously lost, and uh, Golka got uh, um, the favor of uh, King Sanga, right? You want to see Golk, uh, uh, Golka? Yeah, the prestige. Yeah. Look at how huge this guy is. Yes, he eats his protein. <laughs> Next to Solomon Cain. Okay, let me show him. Next to Solomon Cain. Where is he? Okay, this one. <laughs> Can he be painted green to make another orc war boss? <laughs> yeah. Okay, it has to focus. Okay. Yes, he's huge. He's definitely huge. Look at these arms. <laughs> like every pair of miniatures in this game can become a diorama. Yes, love all those mini poses. Yes, they are. It's always very dynamic. It's always, yes. There's always something that you can tell. And even the bases, the bases tell something. You know, you they are all unique and different. What about showing both of them with Golka, old ape friend? Well, you're right. Golka will track Solomon in the jungle, while Solomon is also tracking uh, Lulu, right? Uh, and what happens at some point is uh, the gorilla, well, Solomon leaves his weapon, at, at some point he's, he's helpless without his, his weapon, and this is when Golka finds him. So Golka, can you imagine facing this guy with no weapon? Uh, you're surely uh, going to, you, you, you're definitely going to have a problem. So easy. <laughs> Could be a funny thing to do during a full history, taking pictures during the game and see just all those minis will tell a story. They are laughing. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> so... Uh, he knows he's going to be killed. Solomon knows he's going to be killed by uh, Golka. When? a very angry creatures, creature arrives. And uh, <laughs> I've never seen miniatures so detailed. Is Mythic exclusive? <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you. Yes, we are very happy. I honestly can tell you that these are the best-looking minis that we've produced so far. Really, these are our top, top. No, it's not a duck that arrives. It's not a duck. It's a gorilla. And this gorilla is very, very pissed off because Golka has killed many gorillas and probably from his family. And so he's going to take revenge and uh, he's not taking revenge. So he's not taking revenge on Solomon, but he's attacking this guy. And who do you think will win between this guy and 
Golka? The gorilla, of course, yes. So, yeah, the gorilla is definitely getting revenge and he will completely break uh, uh, Golka. So if you look at them next to each other, you will see that the gorilla still has an edge. He's, he's, he's bigger. Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> so, after that, Solomon King needs to, to find uh, Le Loup, and uh, in this expansion, we provide you with two minis of Le Loup. One mini of Le Loup when he's in Europe, all dressed up, or you know, Lulu is really a, a doppelganger of Solomon Kane. He's just as tall, as thin, and as fast and agile. He's an incredible swordsman. He's a, just as good as uh, Solomon Kane. He's, he's, he's the equivalent of Solomon Kane, except that he's evil. Uh, and so we have his version when he's in Europe with all his clothes and when he's in Africa and when Solomon King finds him, he's been there for quite some time, you know, a few months. And so he's all rugged. He's, uh, he doesn't wear all of his clothes. He's, he looks a bit different. Uh, and this is when Solomon will find him and, and fight him. So look at the mini, the second mini we did uh, for him when he's in Africa. This is Lulu. And you know, he's he's just asking uh, to Solomon King, come on, come on, come. He's teasing him, come fight. Yes, his fighting style is different though. He's flashy and Solomon is more measured and calculating. Absolutely, yes. Look, don't you like this pose? It is good. Come at me, bro. <laughs> Very nice, very good, yeah, yeah. Let's see. So let's, let's see them next to each other. Yeah, all the minis have great poses. Thank you, yes. An Englishman versus a Frenchman. Absolutely, yes. And we have different, uh, we have different versions of uh, Solomon Kane as well. So you can, you can use uh, different ones. Okay, it's time. Uh, you wish it was already July 20, 2019, of course, <laughs> we all do, but yeah, so far we've unlocked so many stretch goals already and we are getting close to 900k, aren't we? So what is the total now? Is it uh, over 860? Do you have the total? Yes, over 860. Okay. 860 almost 863 very 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 cool shred gold needs to be unlocked yes 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 it will it's not unlocked on the on the front page is it just shy of 660 863 that's very good lately we've had like some very positive feedback we've got a lot of people uh saying very good things of the game on the forums everywhere uh the comments are very positive as well, and we've been unlocking stretch goals. Uh, we've been gaining uh, new backers for two consecutive days. Uh, so yes, I think it's uh, uh, it's it's going to 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 be in the right direction. Uh, so we're very very excited, and <clears throat> we we just hope 
take the time to read all of the updates. Did you have time to read it completely? Did you all read it, or did you just uh, scan it? Did you just did you just yes, you did, you did. Okay, very good. Uh, just take the time to to, to do that, uh, and then start looking at all the uh, all of the miniatures. Right now, we we are only missing one. Uh, small little expansion uh, so uh, we are almost to, to the end so uh, after that it will be the last days before the final rush and uh, the last things you will have to wonder what what is coming is, is the, the are the stretch goals the stretch goals castle of the devil possibly who knows <laughs> we'll see uh, let me show you again another creature from Africa because now we are 330 people watching and it's always it's always worth watching. You have so many details you can't see everything. Uh, so this is in heart of Africa. We have big minis. We we also have the uh, the snake. Look at the snake. It's always worth watching it. Snake is your favorite, yes. Yeah, it's funny because we, we showed him next to some other snake minis, you know, so, and you can see that it, he's definitely bigger than the other minis, snake minis that we've seen. So if you look at uh, him next to the Conan snake, you see? There's a big, big difference in size. Big, big, big difference in size. And the, the, the Conan snake was already big. This one is really bigger. If you look at, uh, compared to uh, the mythic battle snake, uh, Python, which was a big snake also, but look at, look at the difference. <laughs> so yeah, we we have we have big creatures here also. Uh, yes, a big improvement. I told you this is the best minis that we've produced, <laughs> definitely. And uh, <laughs> it's the mind bigger time. Well, you know, Mythic Battles were was a game that we did, so we're just comparing to some other snakes that we really did and that we were proud of. And I think this one is even more impressive, but I show that to you so that you can have an idea of how big he is really. And all of the details that we put into this miniature. <laughs> well, yes, thank you, Masters, uh, Mythic uh, Masters of Miniatures. We want to, we are super proud of our, min of our miniatures, but I really hope that you don't think we are only selling miniatures. We are really selling a, a hell of a game with lots of gameplay. Uh, well, this this campaign, you know, this Red Shadows campaign we're talking about, Master of Minis and Stories. Thank you, Mark. This this campaign is is uh, it's five acts. That's 50, uh, 50 chapters. That's between twenty and twenty five hours of gameplay. Just, just this story. This is huge. Did you get back the painted darkness figure? No, not yet. But I know it's being painted by Rémi Tremblay. He confirmed. He got it. He's painting it. And I hope I will, will be able to show you that very soon. And storytelling, absolutely. Okay, guys, let's see uh, the questions. We don't have that many questions, so maybe it won't last too long. Uh, we'll we'll do another live. Let me let me show let me tell you when. Uh, 
the next live will be all right okay uh will be sunday on sunday i'll do another live i'll be more rested so i'll i'll tell you plenty of things we will you know we will do the countdown much earlier so we'll have more people and we'll we'll talk about something uh, exciting which will be the very last add-on so uh right now uh let's see <laughs> Vous êtes pénible, je mitigué ma prête en ligne sur Jeanne d'Arc, mais voilà, en ligne sur Solomon King. Désolé, Pires, et merci beaucoup. So, Guy said, oh, it's tough to go to, <laughs> to watch the Mythic Games product because after an all in on Joan of Arc, now I have to do all in on Solomon King. Well, thank you for being so great, guys. So great. I would like to see all of them. Uh, Sunday is equal fun day. Absolutely. Sunday, fun day. That's exactly what it's going to be. What role do the uh, shopkeepers play in the new expansion? Well, you'll have to see, but uh, as I said, it's an investigation. And so some, sometimes you also have uh, uh, smuggling uh, in, this, uh, in this story. So I'm not going to spoil everything, but it has to deal with this kind of thing, uh, investigation and smuggling, and you will see. <laughs> You're intrigued, Benjamin. Yes, you, you, you can be intrigued because we, we could expand the story uh, and give you something exciting uh, with what we wanted is we wanted the story to cover different uh, elements of gameplay as well. So sometimes you will have discussion, sometimes you will have exploration, sometimes you will have fight. And of course, we had to start where the story starts in the, in the book and we had to finish where the story finishes in the book as well. The preview in the update was cool. Thank you very much. <laughs> Leo is live addict. Well, yes, lots of live lately, <laughs> and uh, but not until next Sunday. So we, we, we won't have that many lives uh, anymore uh, because after that, it will be close to the end of the, of the story. And of course, you will also have a live with Az and as will be demoing you uh, Blue Flame of Vengeance. So it's still being prepared. We're still in the middle of it. It's very ambitious to show you a, a new gameplay with uh, new things. So we are, we are working on it. All right, uh, let's see the questions. First question, and it's in French. Okay, so it's uh, a guy in French telling me, because yesterday was a French live, you know, I spoke French all night. <laughs> and uh, there's a guy uh, who wants to invite me to a, a very famous and very super cool uh, gaming club in Paris. And I will visit them and uh, I will give them a demo of Solomon King. But what I will do is I will wait for the next prototype, the next updated prototype with the discovery card. So if we if we give demo to, to, to these people, to the people who will be there, and there'll be plenty of them. Last time I, I, I went there, we had plenty of people for Joan of Arc. This time it will be for Solomon Kane. It will be for the updated uh, uh, game, uh, the updated uh, prototype, right, with the discovery card. So yes, I can confirm Era, Era Melo. Je crois que David m'a écrit, m'a envoyé un petit message. Je vais lui répondre. J'ai été complètement débordé aujourd'hui, mais dis-lui que je vais lui répondre. Uh, hi Leo, do you translate Solomon King in German? Uh, okay, for translation, I will repeat what I already said. Uh, we will only focus on French and English for this uh, Kickstarter campaign. Uh, once the game is delivered, what we'll do, we, we will uh, try and work uh, with the fans on uh, local translation. So if they want to work on local translation, we'll provide them with everything, uh, all the files, so they can, they can work on the, on, on the, the layout, uh, the, the graphics, and we will provide you with a PDF file uh, from the, uh, the countries who are interested. So sp Spain, probably, Germany, Italy, and maybe others who are who, who, who are willing to help us with that. 
<laughs> no translation <laughs> out of the World Cup and no translation, poor Germans. Yes, there might be a translation, but it will be once we have delivered the game. Uh, do expansions use miniatures from the core box as well? Very, very good question, Mark, but it's absolutely the case. Uh, so the expansions will use miniatures from the expansion, but also from the core box and even from the stretch goals. So uh, depending on which stretch goals we have unlocked, but we have unlocked quite a lot now. So we will have we'll, we have a lot of minis to use for. So it's not true to say that a mini is only used once in one story. A lot of generic miniatures are used in several different stories. Uh, maybe a large wolf. Well, maybe a large wolf. You you'll have to wait. It's not unlocked yet, but yes, we want to show it to you once when it's once it's unlocked. Who said there would be a giant wolf? By the way. Uh, will it be possible to get uh, the all-in pledge with the same discount and without the art book for 165? Uh, unfortunately, this is not going to be possible. Uh, we we didn't want to have too many different uh, add-ons and all-in. Uh, we already have two add-ons because of the early bird. So if now you add the early bird and the uh, uh, <clears throat> the all in without the the art book we we simply are not going to to do to do that but the discount is still very very good and if you can't afford the all in just put as much as you can now uh on uh what you want uh like the core puritan pledge of course plus a few expansions and then you will have time during the pledge manager to upgrade it uh to what you want and you will have several months for that we plan on having the pledge manager uh, open for three months probably three months so it should start at the end of july early august and it should last three months so it gives you plenty of time to to buy step by step what you want Rep re replayability wise if for example you have an, one chapter that you have to go from one point to another if you play two, two times and both, you did great. Will the follow-up chapter would be any different each time, or are you going to play the very same setup? In that case, if you did exactly the same, then you will start the same setup uh, indeed. But that doesn't mean that the game will play exactly the same, because uh, the way it's done with so many different cards, uh, the event cards, uh, the darkness cards, maybe sometimes not nightmare calls there's no way uh, things will be exactly the same even if the setup is the same the game will not play the same and then uh, it's very unlikely that you will do exactly the same on each chapter you know on a 10 chapter story the probability of you doing exactly the same thing till the end and reaching the same results is very low so at one point you will not do the same as uh, <clears throat> as you did the first time, so you will go through a different path. So don't worry about that. Uh, but to answer honestly your question, uh, if, if for one chapter you you had to go to from one point to another in a limited uh, period of time, and you did it the first time, and you do it the second time, then yes, the setup for the other chapter will be the same. But that doesn't mean uh, you can do that, and this is likely to happen in a 10-chapter-long uh, story. It simply is not possible. At one point, things will be different. You know, we played uh, four chapters on uh, the prototypes and, and the demos, the public demos that we've done, uh, and we've played the stories hundreds of times, and every time, each story has been different only on four chapters. So, and we've always had, and the people who have played them se several times, and some ambassadors have played uh, the game dozens and dozens of times, only this same scenario, four chapters, they've always had fun. So the replayability is really here. And if you imagine that you will have 10 chapters in this story, several acts sometimes, like, like for Red Shadows, 50 chapters, Come on, the, 
you could play it several times and you will never see the same things happen again. The possibilities are endless, I'm absolutely sure. And don't forget that this game you could play with one friend of yours co cooperatively, like uh, you could play two, three, four cooperatively, but then you could play solo and then you could also play the versus mode. So you could play one versus a, uh, a friend of you who would play darkness. So if you play the same scenario, but instead of playing it with uh, four, four players against uh, an AI, if you play one versus uh, your, your friend who will, be, who will play darkness, on the versus mode, the feel will be completely different. If you play them solo, it will be completely different. So there's a lot, there's tons of replayability on this game. Um, bonjour Léo, merci pour cette magnifique campagne. Merci Valentin. Uh, Mythic Games ne nous déçoit jamais. Merci. <laughs> y aura-t-il un moyen de faire une campagne rassemblant l'ensemble des aventures, suivre l'ensemble de la vie des aventures sur le Monkin durant des mois de jeu? Well, Valentin, this is something that I answered yesterday during the French Live, and it's very worth mentioning this to the English-speaking people. Uh, Valentin would like to know if it's possible, if we can imagine uh, playing an adventure, playing all of Solomon Kane uh, adventures in a row. And yes, it's possible. Uh, and actually, on our website, mythicgames.net, we would like to post a little uh, game ad, ad uh, where you would see uh, the chronological way, best way to play the stories. You know, Howard doesn't really give chronological order, but we know that some things happen, happened before some others. We know that he was a privateer before we see him first uh, in, in, in the stories, in the, in the books. So, and we know that uh, some things ha happened after some others. Uh, so we will probably provide you with a uh, sort of chrono chronological order of the stories. So if you want to play all of the Salmon King stories in a logical order, so that you are first in England and then uh, maybe you travel and go to France and some things happen and then you, you do this campaign and then uh, you do this one. Uh, if you want to do it in the chronological order and play all of the stories before all of them, this will be possible and we will help you to do that. And we will say, okay, you should play this story first, then this story first, maybe show a map where all everything happens. And yes, this is the kind of things you can definitely do and we want to do that. Uh, autre question, la figurine de Solomon Kane, te représentant sera-t-elle utile dans une aventure? Oui, elle sera utile dans une aventure, et je vais même vous dire, elle sera utile dans Red Shadows. So, someone, someone is asking me if my miniature will be useful in an adventure, or is it just for fun? So, yes, it will be, it will be used, and it will be used in Red Shadows, and it will be used uh, during, in one of the chapters that take place in Europe. So, let me show you the mini, because I have it here, they just printed, it hasn't been primed yet, so you won't see all the, the detail, but <laughs> let me show you this pic, this mini, which is mine. Well, it focuses on it. Oh, it doesn't focus, does it? No, it's blurry. Come on. Maybe if I do it like this. Yes. Can you see it? Hi, Leo, so we can see Leo. <laughs> mini, mini Leo is shy, so. <laughs> okay, well, we will prime it and I will show it to you again, but it's, you can definitely recognize who this town crier is. I think it's pretty obvious. <laughs> So yes, you can you can play him definitely. I'm losing my voice. <laughs> okay, next question. 
Vodka and orange juice. Exactly. Yes. This is what <laughs> we put in this bottle. <laughs> um, je viens de finir les, Howard, les nouvelles de Howard sur Solomon King que j'ai adoré. Quelle lecture me conseilles-tu pour rester dans l'ambiance et attendre la livraison du Kickstarter Ok. Le carte, je te réponds rapidement en français et ensuite je vais le faire, euh, je vais le faire en anglais. Eh bien, je te conseille, attendez, si Patrice est là, il peut aussi nous donner des conseils. Mais moi, je te conseillerais de lire Agnès Lanoir et de, de lire euh, Sonia Larousse. Parce que, ah, Patrice, s'il si veut rester dans l'ambiance, euh, s'il veut rester dans l'ambiance euh, Solomon Kane, en attendant la livraison. Qu'est-ce que tu lui conseilles de lire Moi, j'allais dire Agnès Lanoir et euh, Sonia La Rouge, euh, parce que ça se passe à peu près dans la même époque. Est-ce qu'il y a d'autres aventures de, de Howard qui se passent euh, voilà. Agnès Lanoir et la nouvelle L'ombre du Vautour pour la même époque historique, par exemple. Très bien. So, someone is asking, OK, I've loved, I've read the Howard, well, the Solomon Kane stories, I love them. And I want to keep reading something to stay in the mood. What is, uh, what do you, what is your suggestion I should read? So uh, we said Dark Agnes uh, because uh, Shadow of the Vulture. I don't know if it's called like that in English. Uh, in French, it's L'ombre du Vautour. It takes place pretty much at the same period of time. It's 15, 29, so it's a bit early, earlier than Solomon King, but it's really compatible. Uh, yes, we should make a mini of her, definitely. Shadow of the Vulture, the Shadow of the Vulture. Uh, where, where is the Red Sonia uh, story taking place and uh, when is it? Is it, is it compatible with uh, Solomon King? The Red Sonia, yes, it takes place in Vienna, right? Scaramouche. <laughs> Patrice, could you give us some information about Red Sonia? I'm waiting for this information. Okay, it's about the, yeah, it's a, yeah, Red Sonia. It's, uh, No, no, not Red Sonja. No, 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 not Red Sonia. No, no, no. The the, the real one, the one from uh, the Turk, the Turkish story. Siege of Vienna, 1683. Oh, okay. So it's it's a little later, right? It's uh, almost a century later, right? Yes. Could you give us just Is it something that they should read? Uh, is it in? Uh, is it? Is it something that is close to Solomon Kane? Is, is it something that you think is good? Because you know, Red Red Sonia, uh, the one in Conan, is not a creation of Howard. The guy who did that was uh, in the comics, <clears throat> and they take some inspiration of this character, who's more in the. 17th century, right? Uh, so it's, yeah, it's the siege of uh, Vienna by the Turkish, and she's a, a badass female character. And yes. Uh, and then Patrice suggests that if you want to read something really close, you should read Raphael Sabatini. Okay? <laughs> okay, so. This was a, a long answer to an interesting question. Uh, seems like manufacturing some of the minis will be hard. For example, all of the detailed uh, layers on the Lelou's chest is amazing. Have you been able to test any of the manufacturing process? Yes, we have. Yes, we have. And uh, we are going to use the same uh, technology and the same components than, that we did for Joan of Arc. Uh, we received the minis for Joan of Arc. They are amazing. All of the details are there in 16 millimeter uh, miniatures. Now imagine the same process, the same mold, the same technology, the same uh, high quality PVC and high quality ABS for the weapons, but for 
35 mini miniatures mini. I can tell you and I can guarantee you that we'll have all of the details on these minis. So you will see no difference with the ones that we are showing you now. So yes, we are extremely confident. It's going to be wonderful. It's going to be wonderful. You will be amazed at the quality of the minis. How does the darkness mechanic change the story like red shadows? Well, you mean the darkness, uh, Henry, you, you mean the darkness uh, mechanic for the versus mode? Well, the versus mode works like uh, you have a guy playing darkness, <clears throat> playing darkness as a miniature. This miniature is the equivalent of the virtues, except it's evil. Uh, he can summon it. He needs to roll dice. He can steal dice from the other virtues. You know, when there's an event card that says uh, all of the virtues lose their uh, reserve dice, for instance, then these dice will go to the darkness guy. He steals them. Uh, he can also summon the darkness and put it on, uh, on, on the board. Uh, he can buy with uh, combination. Uh, he has to manage cards, but he can buy special darkness cards that he can play at the time he wants. So instead of drawing them randomly, the guy who plays Darkness will be able to choose the card he wants to play and play it at, uh, at the worst possible time for the players. So playing against Darkness as a human person playing it is much more difficult than playing against an AI. Oh. Siege of Vienna, 1529. Okay, so it's it, it could be compatible. So Red Red Sonia is also a good thing to, to look at. Do you plan to put two stretch goals locked at a time so that even with the delays you have in updating the front page, there won't be the lost momentum? If not right now, then at least for the 48 hours rush. Yes, for the 14, 48 hour rush, we will definitely be super reactive. Everybody will just be there. And what we want to do is unlock the stretch goals and keep it going, keep it going. And <clears throat> depending on where we go, we have some very, very cool ideas for the, the finish of this, uh, of this campaign. So just be there. How are we like seven days before we finish? Is it only seven days, even a little less? How many? What is the, the countdown? Is it seven days? Is it six days? Six days. It's coming soon, guys. It's really coming. Uh, in, in three days, you will, you will see the, the very last uh, expansion, and then it's the final. So it's going to be really, really cool. I hope you will be there. <clears throat> and yes, I said that to the French people yesterday, but I need to tell you that uh, you guys now again, uh, <clears throat> we have a, a, a tradition at Mythic Games, and me in particular, you guys are friends, you know, you guys all count. We have people coming, you know, have these wonderful friends coming from Sweden. I met them, uh, like I, I meet you here, you know, I met them on, on these lives because they're passionate people, because they, so I really, really want to celebrate with you the end of this campaign. So just ha write this down in your head. Uh, the campaign ends on July 5th. And for the very last live, I all want you to, I want to cheer with you. I want to drink champagne with you. I want you to, to select the best beverage you, you like. And I want this to be a big party with all of you. We did that with Mythic Battles, then we did that even more with Joan of Arc, and I want, I want, I want to celebrate with you uh, for this very last live. So have this in mind, try to be there. We won't be late because it will end anyway. We will start the live and the last, uh, I don't know if it will be two hours before the, the end of the live, three hours, something like that. We will be live, I will be live with you for the finish, right? And you will also see the people from the UK office. So it's going to be really, really great. Yes, Tesla, please bring uh, l'hypocras pour, pour festoyer. Absolutely. Tesla has uh, this very special uh, beverage. 
uh, that he made me try. It's kind of a, uh, not a Viking, but kind of a medieval uh, beverage. It's delicious. I want to I want to drink that. So it's going to be crazy. I'll try to be rested, more rested than I am tonight. You know, tonight it's a bit hard for me because uh, I'm hoarse, I'm, I'm, I'm tired. I've, I've done too many lives, but, I, but I'm happy to be with you. But for the ending of this life, I want I want to celebrate with you. So please be there. Have this in mind. July 5th, we celebrate and we'll cheer. We'll drink with all of you. Right. <laughs> Okay, another question. We are almost there. Can you talk about the ways to spawn Providence on the board? Will she be easier to spawn than the other virtues to make her easier to play solo? Well, uh, <clears throat> she will have more options than the other virtues. So when you play Providence, let me show her to you because you mentioned her and because I have her here and she's a gorgeous miniature. Look at her. Look at how cool and great and uh, re regal she is. Ah, Thierry Alot, c'est ta préférée. She's super cool. Look at, look at the shield she has. and She's really, really tall. <clears throat> when you look at, let me show her next to uh, Atlas, and you will see that... Uh, Size-wise, she's just as tall as him. Of course, uh, uh, Atlas is uh, Atlas is is bulkier, but and we offered you two of these miniatures because you have you have Providence and you have Darkness. Darkness is even a little a little taller than this one, and these well, you remember. We offered Atlas in, a, in the stretch goals for Mythic Battles, and it was crazy. But this time, we offered two big miniatures, uh, Providence and Darkness. <laughs> yes, same quality for uh, the, two, the two minis, uh, Marie. Absolument. La même qualité pour les deux figurines. Elles sont super, uh, super fines, super détaillées. Quand on voit ces figurines et quand on les voit peintes, je vais vous les montrer, c'est juste incroyable. This is... Courage, I want to show them to you again. Courage. Yes, finally, I think that what I really love about this game is that there are finally feminine figures that are influential without boyish girls. Yes, absolutely. Yes. <laughs> Girl power. Yes, somebody's happy here, Julia. <laughs> This is prudence. Courage can grow her spikes out of her head whenever she wants. Okay, Ella, uh, elle peut faire pousser ses, uh, ses pointes de son crâne quand elle veut. Courage. Donc, elle peut ne pas, elle peut les retirer quand elle veut mettre son casque. C'est une incarnation, eh oui. So that was prudence. Now, this is temperance. Julia, what do you think of Temperance? I love her. <laughs> <laughs> Is she your favorite? She's my favorite, yeah. Yeah. And she's the favorite on some others. Yeah, Dubala, favorite. Yes, they agree with you. Alubata, his fav her favorite as well, or his favorite. And Justice. My favorite is Prudence, so Tislat is Prudence, and this is... Uh, Yeah, she, they love the floating pose. Yeah. Okay, well, the next stretch goal should be, should be displayed. Uh, I'm surprised. Oh, the spawning differences, you're right. Um, well, yes, uh, there's more versatility with uh, Providence than with the other virtues. Uh, uh, you know, each virtues, each virtue only has eight cards. Uh, Providence has way more cards than this because you play them solo. I think, yes, it can spawn possibly more easily. This has to be confirmed with Jake. 
Uh, but what I know is that there are more options. It's, it's, but, the, but apart from that, uh, she plays like the other virtues. She's just a little more powerful and she can do more things than the other virtues. The virtues can do many things, but they have a specialty. Each, each one of them, each of the four ones, have a specialty. Providence is more, uh, can do more things, you know? So uh, you could say that she's more powerful, but then she's alone, so it's not easy to play to play her. By the way, did you know that you could also play the solo mode with just one miniature, like this one, right? And you, you could play this solo, you could play her solo. You just play her, and then you have all the all of the cards from the other other virtues, but you can only play them once during uh, during the game, and then they are discarded, and you don't have access to their power. So you will have to play the the very best card at the at the best moment. You know, uh, of course, if you play Temperance, you will. You can you can get access again to to the cards from Temperance, but uh, the other cards like the Courage cards you can only play them once. That so that means you need you really need to make the good decision and and play them at the right time, once per act or once per chapter, uh, per act. I think it's per act. Yes. So you really have to balance these things. But that's a good question. That's a good question, Alberta. <clears throat> uh, how can one become an ambassador for your games? Oh, you, you need to write to as, okay? Uh, as is A-Z, A-Z, at mythicgames.net. And then you apply and he will answer, okay? When he has time. So don't expect a, an immediate uh, answer. It will take some time, but he will answer. I'm new to this time type of game is Solomon Cain played in a linear sequence. Uh, not sure what you're talking about. Are you talking about the stories or the game mechanics? Uh, the way it plays is uh, the players around the table will, well, will have to decide an order, about an order. So let's say I will play first and then my friend uh, over there will play second and then my friend on my right will play third and then the friend in front of me will play fourth. So you decide this based on the, the situation and based on the cards you have uh, and what you could do. So you, you choose, you first choose uh, the order and then you roll dice and you try to make uh, combinations and you, you place your dice on your cards to try and make an action. But you can, if you don't use your dice, you could give them to, to the other players so that they have more chance of completing their actions. So this is how the game plays uh, among yourselves and your friends. But then are the stories linear? Well, not quite, because the stories are divided into chapters. And once you have completed the chapter, you see if you've met the victory conditions. If you've met the victory conditions, you will be in a better position for the next chapter. So you will go to one point. If you have mess, missed the, if, if you haven't met the victory conditions, you will go to another point. So the story is not linear. It's like a campaign, but that can go in different directions. I hope it was clear enough. If you want some music to, to go with your game session, you can type Solomon King and Ambiance in YouTube to get a, a dedicated uh, playlist. So this guy, and I will, I'm going to copy this link and put it on the chat. This guy created a uh, a music playlist to to listen to when you play the game. So there it is. I hope it was really what 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 you said it was, Thierry Le Fondeur. We have Leo live, so does that mean we get as announcements? Uh, <laughs> Yes, I hope so. I don't know if Az is watching. It's late. Everybody has been very, very uh, busy. Oh, it's just a cat video, is it? Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> I didn't check, you know. Uh, next questions. Thanks for previous answers. Some more questions. Does all the game mechanics 
uh, are all the game mechanics finalized or are there going to be some changes in the future? Uh, well, most of the game mechanics are finalized, but it still can evolve till the very last time. This is what Kickstarter is about. If we want to make, to tune, to fine tune some game mechanics, if we want to make them evolve until they're perfect, we will till the very last minute, till it goes to uh, the company, uh, till it goes to the printer. So we, yes, most of it is finalized, but we could still add some few things if necessary. Uh, and we will share this with you. You know, we you have the, the game rules, the, the, the rule book, uh, you can upload it. And if you upload it now, you will see that a lot of things were implemented since, since last time. So this is what we will continue to do. And after the game has ended, we will keep uh, publishing the new versions so that you can see uh, the evolution. For instance, in the game rules right now, I don't think we have mentioned uh, the dice, the, the mercy dice or the luck dice, uh, the rules for uh, the solo game and the rules for uh, the uh, versus mode have not been integrated yet, but they will, and you will see that during our updates after the campaign. For those of you who don't know, we have regular camp uh, updates even after the campaign. We have at least once a week. We call it uh, WhatsApp Wednesday. So each Wednesday, you will have a new update uh, for Solomon King. At least, at least once per week. Uh, can we use darkness to play control Lulu? Yes, of course, yes. When you play Darkness, you play all of the bad characters. So that's pretty fun. Uh, it seems that Red Shadows uh, add-on does not include the no longer uh, possession of the corpse part. Is that so? Uh, is so considerations to share about this decision? Oh, okay, Gabriele. Uh, you mean, what do you mean? You think this is not included in the story? I think it is included in the story. Um, I'm not sure what your, your, what your question is, Gabriele. Uh, it seems that it does not include the no longer possession of the corpse part. Well, if you, if you mean that it's not in the story, I think it is in the story. Uh, if you mean something like the miniature, uh, it's, I'm not sure, just because of the lack of a specific meaning. Oh, okay, well, don't worry. It will be part of the story. It has to be, it's su such an uh, iconic uh, part of the story. It will be there. Uh, you mean because of the lack of a specific meaning? You mean like what, the, the dead meaning? Uh, the animated uh, corpse, is that what you mean? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, don't, don't worry. Don't worry. We will. We will take care of that. <laughs> oh, is audio terrible for others or just me? Can you guys? Can you guys hear me? Do you have any? You know, just you. Can you guys hear me normally? Yes. All fine here. Okay, here. Okay, good. Okay, we're still over three hundred people here, and we are getting to the very last question. It's in French. Est-il possible de jouer Darkness en solo contre Providence qui serait géré par une mécanique de jeu? <laughs> so, somebody is asking if, if it's possible to play Darkness uh, as a solo mode versus Providence played by uh, an AI. No, this has not been planned. Uh, what you can do though is you can play one on one. One player could play simply Providence and the other player could play darkness. So you could do that, but you can't play solo with a darkness game. It's, it hasn't been uh, planned that way. So this is not going to happen. I think we have enough game modes for this game. You have uh, the cooperative game for two to four players. You have the solo mode. Well, you could play either one virtue, all of the virtues, or just providence. So that's almost three ways to play solo. And then you have the versus mode where uh, one guy will play darkness and all the bad guys. And then the other player, all the other players 
will play virtues and the light side. So I think that's enough. That's that's quite a lot, uh, and that gives a lot of replayability. And uh, that means even if you play the same story but with different mode, you will have a different experience. So I think we went through all of the questions, guys. What time is it? It's midnight. It's time midnight. To go to bed soon, Lisa. So so do we. Uh, can I see the virtues? Okay, let's finish with the virtues, and then I will show you uh, some of the the minis again, and then I think it will be good, right? All six of them, uh, five of them, because darkness is not here. So let me show these two first. If they focus, yes. So this is uh, temperance and courage. Greetings from New Zealand. Hello, Carl Wilson from New Zealand. Wow. What time is it there? What time is it in New Zealand, Carl? Tell me. 10 a.m. Oh, <laughs> it's 10 a.m. and it's midnight for us. We are about to go to bed and you just woke up. That's, that's funny. <laughs> okay. The two other virtues, yeah, they look so great. Justice is blind, of course. <laughs> blind justice. And then let me show you providence. Again, epic. Badass. Uh, let me show you. Yeah, I haven't shown you this again, but I think it's worth. You have four of them. These are the Death Black Riders, and I think they look super cool, don't they? Yeah. Oh, one of my favorite uh, minis and painted minis is this guy. So this is another uh, uh, nemesis from uh, Solomon King. He, he chased him uh, at, when he was a privateer. This is Captain uh, Fishhawk, Jonas Hardraker. Can you see him? Looks real, yes. An awesome pirate, yes. Does the mountain Solomon have the same normal size of footed Solomon? Well, it's not Solomon, it's a, a black rider, but I can show you the black rider next to Solomon Kane, and you will see that they are exactly this, the same size. So yes, we made like big, uh, a big horse and a big black rider. Um, yeah. See? Yeah, the scenic bases are really awesome. Let me show you another another big uh, big miniature from this game, and it was so expected. So the gorilla, it will be, it will be. Uh, yeah, he's he's a special guy. You can watch the trailer again. He's really, really super, super big. Uh, Sangha, the, the chief. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's melting in the office. It's so hot. <laughs> uh, Golka. Tonga is feeling fabulous, yes, I know. Look at this guy. The tribesmen, tribesmen, I will try and, and show them all. Ah, 
And finally, uh, let me show you, or oh, no longer, of course, and then I will show you Lulu, and then I think it will be time. Oh, c'était quoi la surprise La surprise, c'était le trailer. C'est pas une belle surprise quand même Non Ça vous a pas plu <rire> So somebody was... <rire> Et oui, parce que ce n'est pas courant de faire un trailer sur une extension. Et surtout, quand on a décidé de le faire, c'était une idée à, comme ça. On s'est dit, le trailer, il a vachement plu. Si on essayait d'en faire un deuxième plus court sur l'extension qui est la plus emblématique et donc euh, qui serait un peu la suite du premier. On s'est dit, allez, on va essayer. On va essayer de faire un, un trailer qui va présenter euh, euh, Red Shadows. Et donc, c'était un défi qu'on s'est lancé. On ne savait pas. Pendant les lives, pendant les trucs, on a, on a eu euh, Fabien qui a bossé dessus avec nous. On a défini un petit peu ce qu'on allait mettre dedans. Mais ça s'est fait, euh, fait comme ça. So, somebody was asking me, what was the surprise? Well, the surprise was this trailer. It's unusual to have a trailer for just an expansion in a Kickstarter. So, what happened is, right after we were finished for the, the video, well, the, the, the game trailer, the first one that you have on the Kickstarter, we said, well, How about we try? We were not sure we could do it. How about we try and prepare a new uh, trailer just for the most iconic uh, expansion uh, in the game, which, which is uh, Red Shadows. So we didn't know whether we could make it or not, but we tried. And we said, okay, it's going to be smaller. Uh, what are we going to put in it? Put in and, and, we, and this is what we did. And we literally just finished on time just for this, uh, for this trailer, so for, for this live and for this, uh, we, we knew we wanted to reveal uh, Red Shadows now and we, we literally finished like yesterday and then we needed the final pack shot, we, we, we were waiting for some uh, renders to arrive and so yes, we, we, we did it during the Kickstarter and this is it, it's just ready on time. So. Because it's storytelling, we wanted we we wanted you to to discover the game through the, 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 the trailer, which is how it starts on Kickstarter, and then you look at uh, the mechanics, and we wanted to finish uh, it with another trailer, uh, with one of the most iconic stories for Solomon Kane when he's where he starts in in Europe, then he has tons of adventures, and it finishes in Africa. I think it was it was yeah it was not that common and it's it's another experience that you can add to this campaign in this campaign we did many things we had many lives we did demos uh game demos we've got questions and answers with jake uh i've, I've had lives with you guys even in french uh we've shown you miniatures and we've shown you trailers i think yes in the end we can all be proud of how this campaign went and it's far from over from over we still Uh, we still have to go to the last, the very last expansion, which will be revealed on Sunday. So be there on Sunday. This time we won't be late, hopefully. <laughs> and uh, I will announce the live way earlier. And then after that, it will be the live to, just to finish. And in the meantime, you might have a live from Az and the UK team to give you a new demo of another story that you've never seen, which is Blue Flame of Vengeance. Okay? So, I think, yeah, the very last mini I want to show you is Lulu, because he's the, uh, the iconic guy. And uh, then, yes, we will all uh, say you goodbye. Well, some things are happening. Well, look at Lulu, really. I mean, I'm intimidating. Intimidated, you will see soon why. Oh. Yes, look at Lulu. <laughs> Leo is again about to get dog piled. <laughs> well, we had uh, yes. Let's let's come and say goodbye, guys. Yes, it's not the last day in Paris, but uh, we will see you again. Again, uh, call. Thank you so much for coming 
over. He came just to be with us, to see us. Uh, he came with Julia. We, we, will, we, will, we want to, to see you, Julia, again. Uh, yes, we are friends. This is a family, so this is Carl. Look, this is Julia. <laughs> and we have Solomon also. The, yes, good game, the Mythic crew. <laughs> so this, this was great, guys. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Good night, goodbye, uh, <laughs> good night, au revoir, goodbye, Joaquin, goodbye, Dede Prod, good, goodbye, Freddy, Gabriele, Jan, Benjamin, Lockett, Guilhem, I could pay a lot of money for this voice as an add-on for my body. <laughs> <laughs> good night, Mark, good night, uh, Dave, Glenn, Ali Batar, uh, Gabriele, Pires, Leif, Stefan, Salvador, et Carl, uh, mm. à dimanche, on se voit dimanche, goodbye, Toby. Goodbye, G. Bueno, la, la, la Cortilla. Goodbye, Solomon. Goodbye, <laughs> Solomon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Great job. It was, it was fun. I hope you, you like uh, the Red Shadows campaign. And if you want to support us, just up your pledge a little bit so that we can unlock the new stretch goals. We want the Beast of Bordeaux to be unlocked. So it's almost there. Just a little effort and then the final rush it's going to be wonderful. Okay, another 300. <laughs> yes. Oh, Lord. Pledge upgraded. Thank you, Lockhart. He just upgraded his, his pledge. Very, very cool. Thank you, guys. And I will see you on Sunday. And maybe before that, uh, something you will see. And thank you. Good night. It's very hot here. Oh, We're yes. going to open the, the front door and have a bit of fresh air. Goodbye. <laughs>